with Tanif and Charlie. Welcome to Figure Skating in Harlem. Thank you. Thank you. You're getting honored tonight. So what do you like? What do you both like most about the charity? Yeah, I mean, for me, um, education has always been one of the most important things, and um, so I think just an organization that's able to combine the power of figure skating and all the wonderful things it can bring to anyone's life um, to, to help promote education uh, is fantastic. And then just with the girls, that they're, they're, they're able to, um, the lives that they're able to change uh, with it, it's, uh, it's really special. Yeah, and coming back year after year and being able to follow some of their journeys through high school, through college, and all the things they've been able to accomplish. I mean, I think that the idea is that this program gives them inspiration to reach all the dreams possible, but in the end, I think they wind up inspiring a lot more people than any of us ever did. Well, we saw you both commentating quite a bit at World, so what was that experience like? Yeah, it was good. Um, you know, I just, I talked to Tanith about what's going on, and then I steal all of her best lines. <laughs> And, uh, you know, <laughs> um, no, I mean, it's fun. I, we're really enjoying being able to just spend time together and, um, you know, work together in a totally different capacity. And, uh, you know, she sets the bar really high, so I just tried, you know, not to embarrass her. <laughs> I've seen you hosting quite a bit. We saw you in the road to Rio. We also saw you doing curling. So what do we need to know about curling? Oh, what don't you need to know about curling? Is <laughs> you have time before 2018 I to find out do, everything yeah. you need to. No, I mean, it's it's a great job that I have. I get to be a quick study with a lot of these sports, but curling was a, a fun one. I mean, that's part of what curling is so known for and what makes it so great is that it's accessible to a lot of people. It's really fun, but at the Olympic level, it's become a lot more athletic than what I remembered back from 2006 and 2010 even. So it was really neat to be able to catch up with that. And then um, coming up, I have polo and rugby, so it'll be a new adventure every turn. <laughs> we see you travel all the time. We saw you in China right before World. So what were yeah. you doing there? Yeah, so we were working with Visa, um, who's helping China and the U.S. on a year. 2016 is the year of tourism between the two countries, and so um, we were just there to help sort of promote the initiative and, and get people excited about coming to China and vice versa. Uh, and so it was amazing to be able to go and not have to worry about skating. <laughs> and what are you going to be skating as far as a nice fishing? Um, well, we're starting off in Hershey, um, and then I think we're going to Maine next, Portland, Maine, and then. Gosh. How about programs? Programs? Oh, what are we skating to? Um, we'll be skating to Dog Days Are Over, which is a routine we've been doing for a little bit of time now. And then um, the other one is Dream by Imagine Dragons. Are you skating now, Tana? I am not skating now. I'm not really sure when the next time I'm going to get on the ice is. I'm still on for choreography, but at this time, um, because the broadcasting is picking up, uh, less time for skating. Now, how are you with ballroom dancing? Are you, are you excited about the show in Japan? Have you been practicing? Um, <laughs> I've been thinking about it a lot. I mean, I'm pretty nervous, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, we just did a press conference in Japan with Daisuke um, Takahashi, who's obviously the headliner. Um, and he was saying how nervous he is, so that makes me feel a little bit better uh, because he, he's such an amazing um, mover uh, in space. Uh, <laughs> and so, you know, I think it, we'll be in it together. It'll be a fun adventure, and, um, you know, we'll have lots of time to work on it and get it down pat. Looking at next season, two people you know well, Tessa and Scott, will be returning to competition. Seeing the field at Worlds, how do you think they're going to stack up against the French? They should be talking to else. Oh, I mean, of course they're going to be competitive. They're an outstanding team, and I can't imagine that time away from competition has diminished that at all. Um, but I think it's going to be a fun competition to watch. And the landscape of dance has changed a lot in the last couple of years, so I'm sure they're anxious to see where they'll fit in, as are we. And um, it'll be great to have them back and just um, lift the level of competition up. Our last question, hip-hop is going to be introduced next year. Is this a risk that you would both take? Um, I wish no one would take it. <laughs> Honestly, so you're anti-hip-hop, I just, I mean, yeah, I don't think it's, it's not good on the ice. And, I mean, we've seen some of the best dancers, like people that can do hip-hop on the floor and that are also good skaters try to do it on the ice, and it never looks great. I mean, it's just, it's not, it's not the kind, it's just like Latin. I mean, you can kind of fake it a little bit, but to, to do a competitive program based around it and to introduce that is, is something that, you know, the, the ISU is looking for, I think, is a mistake. I think ice dance is in a really good place right now, and, and so I want to see, you know, and, and I, that might just be, I might be being too conservative. I don't know. I, Maybe it'll turn out awesome, but I'd rather see him stick to, to, you know, maybe some stuff that we know will work better on the ice.